Okay, so that was some G penis scales and chapter 12, unit 12. It's the last one in the book. Be prepared to cry in a couple weeks. Um, we're reading in three G positions, so we know that C position is basically when your lowest note is C and your fingers follow that. G position is the same idea, your lowest note will be G. You can do that with the left hand, and there's actually two different ones we're going to be using in the left hand. So that's why they give you these warm-ups. We have a bass G, or low G, I should say, and the bass G. Okay? They show you that right up there on the top of the page. So you see your low G is way down there. Here's middle C. This is bass G, and this is our treble G. So, bass G is going to be right here, kind of in the middle of the piano. And low G is going to be even lower. Okay? Treble G is easy to catch. So you're going to be using that in the rest of your songs. Some songs will be in bass G position. Some songs will be in that... Say that again. Hang on. Some songs will be in low G position. And some songs will be in bass G position. Okay? You just have to know. But a good way to think about it is if you're near middle C, then that is the bass G position. Another thing they want you to remember is the tonic and dominant. Remember your low note is tonic and your dominant is your fifth note. Or your first and your fifth note. Okay? So be careful to, or be sure to remember these concepts because they're going to build up throughout the book and throughout the next books. So if you forget them now, you're going to have to relearn them. So that is the G pen of scales. Practice them, have fun, try them all over the place. Even try different scales. Try C, try some A or um, D, some stuff like that. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.